In this video, I want to look at one of the great features of PHP to help us out, and it's called PHP Includes, or they're called Includes. The idea is that we can sort of break our website apart into common pieces that we can then share in different HTML pages. So if we look at this website here, I've, I've created two pages. So I have the captain page and the home page. And you can see that the header is almost exactly the same on both pages. The only thing that really changes is the title right here. And the footer, if we look, so this is what the footer likes, looks like here on this page. And if we go to the captain page, you can see the footer is also identical. So these two pages look almost exactly the same. Well, their header and footer are exactly the same. But if you look at my code, all I really have here is just this, this code is just copied and pasted between the two HTML files. And that's a little bit annoying. I'd prefer to not have to copy and paste my code between those two. So I'd like a way where I can sort of share that similar information between the two pages. And that's what PHP includes allow us to do. So we can take this common HTML, put it into another file, and then we can share it between our two PHP files. So what I'd like to do first is I want to convert these two HTML files into PHP files. So I'm going to rename them to have the PHP extension. I'll rename this one here too. Okay, so they're both PHP files now. So let's start with index. If we look at the HTML, we know that there are a few, the, the header is common to both of them. So from here up is common to both of those pages. They both share the same HTML. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna cut it out of the index file and I'm going to put it in a separate file. So I'm gonna make a new file here includes slash, let's call it header.php. So I'm making a new folder called includes, and inside that I'm creating a file called header. So I'm gonna paste my HTML here into that file. And so here's my folders over here. You can see I have a folder called includes, and inside that I have this header file. And in my index.php, I no longer have that HTML. So I removed it from index and I put it into header. So if we go look at our index file in the browser right now, you may notice that, well, it doesn't quite look right because the header is missing, which makes sense because we just stripped that HTML out of the index file. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna use PHP to bring that header back into the index file. So right at the top, I'm gonna make a PHP block and in my PHP block, I'm going to use the PHP function called include. So I'll write include, and then inside quotes, I want to write the path to the file that I want to include. So I want to bring in include slash header.php. So wherever you place this include function call, PHP will go and find that file and stick it in this location into your HTML. So let's go back and look at the browser here. And you'll notice now that this file looks the same. So remember, right now we're looking at the index.php file. So in the browser, I'm looking at index.php. And you can see the header is visible in here. And if I go look at view source, you can see the header is in here. So the PHP file or the web server is taking these two files and it's mashing them together into one file and it's sending that file to the browser. So that allows us to sort of share this information. Now I wanna do the same thing with the footer. I'm gonna go down to the footer. I'm gonna find this chunk of HTML that's shared between both pages and I wanna move it into an include. So let's call this one footer.php. So there we go, we have another file now. So inside my includes folder, I have footer.php and header.php. And both of those files are shared now between every page on my site. So let's do include, include slash footer.php. All right. 
So now if we look at my index file, you can see it doesn't have the top of the HTML. It's got an include. And it doesn't have the bottom of the HTML. It has an include. But if we go look in the browser, you can see that it looks exactly the same. And if we view source, you can see, look, the footer is still there. Because the PHP code is combining these three files together so that they're becoming one when it hits the browser. Now that we have these separate files, I want to go to captain.php and I want to do the same thing. So I know from here to here is the common HTML, so I'm just going to delete it and replace it with the PHP include. All right, there we go. So we've replaced the captain's header and we'll go down to the footer. We'll do the same thing for the footer. All right, so now our captain page is also sharing the same header and footer. So let's go to the captain page and there we go. That's not the page we're looking for. All right, so that's what I, that's what I was expecting. You can see the link here is pointing to captain.html. But if you remember, our page is now called captain.php. So we need to adjust our navigation here. So right here, um, our navigation is pointing to captain.html. And our navigation is now inside of header.php. And it's shared between both of them. So here are my links right here, and I want to change captain.html to captain.php. And might as well do the same for the index file. So I've fixed both of those links. Now when I refresh, I can click to the captain page, and I can click back to the uniforms page, and they're both working. They both work back and forth. And you can see I only had to make that change once because that file is shared between both pages. Let's just make another change to see how this works. Um, so in the header here, let's just change some text, another change. So I made this change once, and now here you can see it's got the text on the captain page, and if I go to the home page, it's also on the home page. So this information, or these things, this whole masthead area is shared between both of my pages. So let's look at the footer now. In the footer, you can see I have this copyright here. And I think I'd like to have the year in there. So let's put a PHP block and echo the date. And we want to echo this year, just like we looked at before. So now I'm echoing the date in the footer. So if you look here, you can see, look, there's the date on the home page. And I'm going to go to the captain page. And there's the date there. So it's the same information shared between those two pages. So let's create a third page then. In the navigation here, let's create command.php. So I'm going to save that, and I'll make a new page called command.php. So we want it to share the same header and footer. So let's create a PHP block here and include include slash header.php. And we'll create another PHP block, and we'll write include to get the footer.php. All right, and let's just put a little text in here just so we can see that it's working. Command. OK, so we created a third page now. So let's go to Command. And look, here's our third page. It has the same header, the same footer, and it has just some different text on it. So we can easily now sort of split our website out and share all these common things between our pages. And it makes making websites much easier because we don't have to copy and paste as much. So PHP includes allow us to combine multiple files together.